YouTube world, Adam Aller here with PragmaticWays.com, coming at you today with another video to make you a better software engineer. So today's video, we're going to be going over a pretty cool feature that's in most IDEs, and that's going to allow you to quickly and easily create classes, kind of like a POJO class or some data transfer object, or maybe even just a standard Java bean. You know, these classes that have a whole bunch of private fields, and then they have all these public uh, setters and getter methods. So when I first started out, I would usually, when I first started out in software development, I would be like manually creating these classes by hand. And that's just when you have classes that have a lot of private fields, well, creating all those public methods for the setters and getters, that's going to take a long time. And there's actually a very quick and easy way to automatically do that inside of Eclipse. And inside of IntelliJ, if you use that IDE, I believe NetBeans is the same thing, or any of these major IDEs, uh, they all have these, this similar feature. So let's go ahead and take a look at, at what this is going to look like here. So in order to create a new class, we're just going to go up to File, New, I'll click on Other, and then make sure I select Class, hit Next. I'm going to call this class uh, Person. We're going to create just a basic Person class here. I will click Finish. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the camera here. I'm gonna start typing out a whole bunch of different private fields inside of this class here. All right, so let's pretend we just have this very obnoxious class here that just has all these different private fields in it, right? So like I said, when I first started programming, I would do the naive way, sort of the elementary way of doing this, and I'll just come in here and say, okay, uh, this is going to be public string, it's going to be called get first name, and I'll just start manually typing all this stuff out. And we can see for however many uh, fields I have here, creating a setter and getter for each one of these, well that's going to take a long time trying to type that all by hand. So in order to automatically do this, all we're going to do, there's a couple ways of doing this actually. Uh, the first way is we can see all these are highlighted, right? They're, they all have the warning highlight on them. So Eclipse is saying, hey, you have this private field, but it's not being used anywhere. What do you want to do? So there's actually this little button right here that I could say, create a getter and setter for first name. So I could click on that, and then it's automatically going to bring up this little window right here, and I could click on OK. And there, now I automatically did that. Or if we want to do it for all of them, there's an even quicker way of doing that. And we can just go right up here to source and then go down to generate getters and setters. And when we click on this, we get sort of a little bit different window, but still pretty, pretty easy to figure out, pretty intuitive to see. And I could just go ahead and click select all. Or I could uncheck some of them that I don't want. Let's say for zip code, for whatever reason, I only wanted the getter method. So I would uncheck the setter method then. You know, like, it, pretty easy to figure out what you need to do for all of it, but for this case, I'm just going to go ahead and select, or uh, make sure I click on select all, and then click on generate. And there we go. Within seconds, I have all these different public setters and getters here. And we can see the formatting's a little bit crap right now, so I'm going to go back up to source, and I'm going to click on format. Make it look nice and pretty. All right. Uh, we can also do constructors in the same exact way. I'm going to go up to source. I'm going to create a constructor for this class here. Generate constructor using fields. All right, so you could create just some absurd constructor with all of them. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, but, you know, maybe you need the case for it. Um, you, know, you know, pro tip, I would actually, if you, if you need a constructor with all of these, I would highly consider uh, using the builder design pattern instead, which I will have a video for the builder design pattern coming up pretty soon, actually. But anyways, I digress. We are talking about quickly and easily creating classes and setters and getters and constructors in this video, so let's stick on track here. Uh, let's say that for this class, for this purpose right now, all we really care about is a constructor with just the first name and the last name. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Generate. And there we go. Again, within like a second, we automatically already have this public uh, constructor here. So that's pretty much all I want to get into for this video. Um, you know, there's a lot of really cool features in your IDEs. You know, you should really take the time to just sort of go through some of these and, and sort of just really familiarize yourself with 
all the different features that your IDE comes for, comes with because there's a lot of really cool automation tools that can just make you like the more and more you learn these different tricks and techniques inside your IDE and you can use the full power of it. You know, you're going to become a much better software engineer, much faster developer. So hope you liked this video. If you do, uh, please give, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please do consider subscribing and comment down below if you like this video or what you didn't like about it or what you would like to see next. But until next time, everyone, happy coding.